sponsored by Squarespace. These are my top hamburger spots in Tokyo. So I've wanted to do this video for such a long time now. You've probably seen in my other videos, I featured some hamburger spots like Black Cows and Henry's Burger, but I just haven't had the time to put it all together in one video. So we're doing it here today. But like always, if you want to see what I'm doing on the daily, check out my Instagram account. If you guys want to help support the channel, check out my Tokyo and Japan merch. And if you have any questions about Japan or your Japan travels, check out my Discord community. That all said, let's get our meat on. Number one, Munch's Burger Shack. This burger joint behind me started out as a food truck in 2006, and in 2011 finally established this shop. If you've got the burger munchies, then this is the spot. Let me show you inside. If the Avengers were hamburgers, then this would be their movie. And this spot would be Captain Angus, as this shop mainly uses lean meat only from high quality Angus beef without adding the fat. It's not super heavy on the stomach, but the meat juices pack a punch. And hinting of America, even former President Trump has eaten here. And you know, he loves his burgers. Okay, okay, we got their most popular burger here, the avocado cheese burger. And see all of that loveliness right there. You got the avocado. And everything it's so big let's take a bite mm, I gotta have to take another bite of that the bun is cooked perfectly it is a little bit crunchy on the outside it has a nice sesame on top it has some crispy lettuce it has tomatoes it has some relish it has some cheddar cheese it has these like really thinly sliced avocados what separates this place is that the meat itself that they use is more like a steak like really really chunky it's not like a really minced and so you can like really taste like the coarseness it's more like eating a steak almost and the sauce itself is a tangy refreshing hint to go with like the heavy beef and meat juices. I'm loving it. You can see right there the meat itself is like perfectly cooked. I mean perfectly cooked for me because I ordered a medium. At this hamburger joint you can choose how you want the meat prepared. You can have it rare, medium, or well done. And I got medium and you can see it is pretty red. Decently red in the middle but cooked on the outside. Ah oh, and it is so so good. But honestly this burger is so good. You don't need any sauce at all. Like all the sauce that they put in here, just as is, is perfect. Mm. And since I am eating all these burgers today, I decided to go to salad. Try to get a little bit something healthier for just one of the meals, at least. And I do apologize. I always probably have food in my mouth or my teeth. It's just gonna be a messy, messy day today. Anyway, that whole set is showing you this place. Let me take you to the next burger joint. Number two, Hungry Heaven. Here we are at Meguro Station. Just a three minute walk from the west exit, you'll find this heart-stopping hamburger shop. So this hamburger joint behind me turns into a yucky niku spot at night. So you've got to come here during the day. But if you do make it on time, then you'll find out that their burgers are heavenly. All right, here we go. Look at this beaut. So today we got that bacon cheese burger. Wow, this thing is huge. This is a nice portion burger. Oh ho ho. Let me just take a bite and then tell you all about it. Wow. Mm, that is a phenomenal burger. Well, I gotta take another bite. The first thing you notice here, it has this special heavenly sauce in here, and it's a tomato based sauce with like other like spices and ingredients, and it gives it a really, really nice flavor. And you have the bacon right here. Let me just open this up. These are huge pieces of bacon, and then you have the burger right there. That's a nice burger, which perfectly cooked. The meat is just still juicy and so flavorful. It also has some onions, tomatoes, the lettuce itself is crunchy, and it has two kinds of cheeses. It has mozzarella and cheddar cheese. In fact, you're able to choose which type of cheese you want. You can go all cheddar, you can go all mozzarella, or you can go half and half, which I went here. Oh, that is beautiful. I love how the bun itself is crispy on the outside. The cheese is a melty, melty, gooey. Mm. The umami is just popping. 
Mmm. It almost feels like you're having yakiniku. In fact, if you look up all of like the exhaust fans for the smoke, it's like you can definitely taste the meat here. This is like a meat, meat burger. I mean, what else would you expect coming from a yakiniku shop, right? Before I continue on, I wanted to give a quick shout out to our sponsor for this video, Squarespace. If you guys don't already know, Squarespace is the way to go if you want to build your online presence. In fact, I use it for my own website, Tokyo Zebra. Here are just some of my favorite reasons why I love using Squarespace. Whether you're starting your passion project or building a business, Squarespace has all the tools to get it done while also looking ultra sleek and professional at the same time. They support numerous portfolios and gallery designs, which you can customize and even password protect so the right people see your work. Use its fully integrated blogging tools and commenting features such as threaded comments, replies, and likes to help engage your community. And my favorite, built in analytics to see how your visits, unique visitors, and page views trend over time. So go to squarespace.com today for your free trial and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com forward slash Paolo from Tokyo and get 10% off your first website or domain. That said, let me take you to the next burger spot. Now let's move on to Kinshio Station. Number 3, Shake Tree. Shake what your mama gave you because this spot sits just between Kinshio and Byogoku Station. It's a bit of a walk, but you're probably going to want to burn those calories before hitting up this spot. So this next burger spot got its name from the term shake a person's tree, which means to make someone happy apparently. And they've taken it and made it shorter and they've called it Shake Tree. It makes me happy, so let me show you what's inside. So today we are wilding out, we got their wild out burger. This is kind of like the go-to burger. You don't even have a bun, you have two patties right there. So basically you have some cheese, tomato, I've actually added an egg to it. You have some onions in the middle. Oh man, this is just dripping everywhere. Just take a bite of this. Oh, see all that meat juice coming from there? That is amazing. You can just see my plate, there's a pool of meat juice below. The first thing you taste when you take a bite is the meat, obviously, because it's on both ends. They use a shoulder sirloin and thigh meat in this. It's really coarsely cut, so you can really taste it. This is probably gonna be the meatiest burger out of all the ones I'm gonna show you today. Mm, that sauce is to die for. The barbecue sauce has its own sweetness, but it's not too sweet. It just keeps on dripping. Look at this. See all that drip? That is how much meat juice is coming. I mean, I already have a pool of meat juice in here, and then still, I feel like I can like double dip my meat back into this juice to get more flavor. And what's nice is that you can choose all of your own ingredients. And add bacon, like I said, I added egg to this one. And they even have like sauces like I actually got. Love my little sour cream. I'm gonna dip the sour cream in here as well. Oh, look at that. That is just a sour cream burger. This is mind-blowingly good. All the juice, everything combined, the egg, the onions, the tomatoes, the mayo, just everything combined is just a wonderful experience. And also you can write your name on the wall here and I'm gonna write Paolo from Tokyo and if any of you come here, tag me on Instagram, let me know that you came here as well. Number four, Icon. Next stop is a Yogi Station on the Yamanote line. Icon is definitely one of the most famous burger joints in the Shinjuku area. It's known for its ultra unique burgers like the Apple Burger and the Ginger Burger. But today, I'm ordering their famous mac and cheese burger. Check out this mac and cheese burger. Wow, look at that. You have the lettuce on top. You have the mac and cheese just overflowing. Some mashed potatoes right there. Let me just pop this into my mouth. That is just a beauty. Basically, you have the mac and cheese on top of that, and then you have a nice patty. Uh, it has some onions, it even has some nuts in there. And then it has like your special sauce, which has like pickles and mayonnaise, a little bit of butter in there, relish. See the almond right there as well. It's crazy, there's just all sorts of different nuts in here. Those nuts add an interesting texture to this whole entire burger. What's really nice is too, you can see it's not like a minced meat at all. It's almost like eating like a solid piece of meat. You can see kind of like the striations in the burger patty. That's pretty dope. Mm. Like you need a fork 
to eat this. Here, look at that macaroni and cheese. What's nice is that they've used your standard cheddar cheese. They have some step in, which is like a mozzarella, and they even use their original G, which is uh, cooked butter. Here's a kind of like a nice and thick and creamy texture to it. Mmm. Side of mashed potatoes right there. Mmm. And it even comes in soup. Mmm. Oh, that's quite flavorful. Wow, and the soup has like a bunch of onions and very, very meaty soup. Like an onion soup with a lot of meat chunks in there. Obviously, like the atmosphere itself is just pretty fun. You can see that there's like a lot of kind of American like toys and like culture in this place. You can see like the owner like really, really loves Western culture. This is literally a full meal. Having all of this mac and cheese really brings me like back to the US. Number five, Al Debrin. So this next spot, I am super, super excited to take you. We are going straight up Wagyu you in this one. Let me take you inside now. Located right next to Rapungi Hills, this spot has a hidden bar kind of atmosphere with a dark and moody lighting. They make premium Wagyu burgers using the same meat that are sold in luxury yakiniku restaurants. I ordered the Zucchina Burger. It has 180 grams of that real deal Wagyu patty with four types of melted cheese. I got the Zucchina Cheese Burger. I'm so excited to eat this. And plus, I have a special surprise for you halfway through. Just hold on and wait a second while I eat this loveliness. So you can see the lovely Wagyu patty. You can see the tomato, cheese, lettuce, and some more cheese, and then all on this bun. It also has some onions in there. Sorry, the, the light is kind of bright in here so it's hard to take it. Let me just take a bite of this. I'm so excited. Mm. Wow, that is a phenomenal burger. You can see how juicy that Wagyu meat is. First bite, you can just taste all of the juices coming from that Wagyu. The umami is just so intense and flavorful. And what's pretty freaking amazing is that a nice crispy bun on the outside. This cheese, wow, melty, melty. I am blown away. It is literally melting my heart. It's that good. I love how you even get two different types of fries. You get like this shoestring kind and you get thick potato fries. And when you Thanos snap halfway through your burger, you'll be served even more of that melted joy. Red cheddar, white cheddar, Havarti, and mozzarella. Oh man, I'm in love. Look at all of that drippy, drippy cheese. Oh, let's take a bite of this cheesy, cheesy loveliness. That was a surprise I wanted to show you. Well worth the wait. Literally another place you cannot go wrong. Like whatever you have on their menu, it is so good. But these were my top hamburger spots here in Tokyo. If you want to see more of my hamburger spots, let me know in the comments. If you guys like this video, help me out and hit that like button. And if you guys want to see more Japan guides, Tokyo guides, or anything related to Japan, hit that subscribe button and the bell button. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.